Hello everyone, I'm Nabil Murat. In this training video I would like to compare between the logical if function and the VLOOKUP function. So the situation that we have, I have a list of employee names in column AH and then in column AI I have the sales for each one of these sales rep. These sales rep should be getting a commission for their sales. If the commission rate is a fixed rate, then I would just multiply that commission rate by the sales to calculate the commission. But the commission rate is variable. It depends upon the sales amount. We put it into brackets in the commission table in order to encourage the employees to make more sales. So if the sales amount is anywhere between 0 and 5,000, the commission rate will be 1% of the sales amount. If your sales are between 5 and 7, then the commission rate will be 2% of the sales amount. If your sales are above 7,000, then in this case, the commission rate is 3% of the sales amount. Let's first create our IF function. So I want to select the entire range because I want to create the formula once and then populate it in the entire selected range. From the point of view of this active cell, the one that looks different in color, I start creating my if function equal if. Equal if. And then I hit tab. What's your logical test? I would like to start comparing with the highest bracket moving to the lowest bracket. So I'm comparing the sales amount for the first employee and ask, is it greater than or equal to 7,000 coming from AE5? And because I'll be copying my function down, I don't want AE5 to change, so I want to lock it by hitting the F4 key. And then I hit come. This is a logical test. The result of the logical test can be either true or false. What if it is true? I'm in the true portion right now. If it is true, then I want to give this employee 3% commission. 3% of what? 3% of his or her sales amount. So I'm in the value if true. If it is true, I want to multiply the sales coming from AI3 multiplied by the commission rate coming from AF5. And because I don't want AF5 to change, then I lock it by hitting the F4 key. When I hit comma, I'll be in the value if false of my first if function, which simply means the employee did not hit the 7,000, which means the employee is below the 7,000. What do you want to do? Well, I have two options, so I need another if function. When I put an if inside an if, that's called the nested if function, so I'll be typing my second if function. If, and then I hit tab. If the sales amount, as if I'm starting from scratch, I start comparing a second time. If the sales amount is greater than or equal the 5,000, and of course I don't want the 5,000 to change, so I lock it by hitting my F4 key, and then I hit comma. What do you want to do in this situation? Well, if it's above 5,000, and it didn't pass the first test, because I'm in the value if false, that means I'm somewhere between the 5 and 7. That means this employee should be getting 2% commission. So I want to multiply the sales coming from one cell to my left, multiplied by the 2% commission and I lock it by hitting F4 so the 2% doesn't change. Now if I hit comma, I mean the value if false of my second if function. What does it mean? It means that my evaluation did not go through the first if, it did not exceed the 7,000 and it didn't even pass the second test 
which is the 5,000. That definitely means I'm below the 5,000. That definitely means that I need to multiply the sales by 1% commission rate. So I'm going to do the multiplication. I select the sales. I multiply it by 1% commission. And the 1% should be locked. So I hit the F4 to lock it. Now I need to close brackets. I have multiple brackets to close. I'm not quite sure how many brackets I should be closing. But as a rule, the last bracket is always black in color. The last bracket appears bold on screen for two seconds before it switches to regular. Let me close the bracket. Well, this one is not black. Let's close the next bracket. This one is black. It appeared bold and then it switched to regular. Let's populate this function by hitting Control Enter and this will be the commission amount for each one of the sales transactions. I have another option for calculating the commission rate. I can use a VLOOKUP function. So let's create our VLOOKUP function and compare the result of the VLOOKUP function to the IF function. I'm selecting the entire range up front and I'll be typing equal V lookup. What's my lookup value? What are you evaluating? What are you looking for? My lookup value will be the sales amount. And then I hit comma. Where do you look for it? I look for it in this table array. I'm selecting the lookup column, the one having the different brackets for the sales amount. And don't forget to lock the table array by hitting F4. And then I hit comma. From which column you need a return value? I need a return value from the second column, column 2. And then I hit comma. Are you looking at an exact match or an approximate match? I need an approximate match, so I hit the tab key to select true. And then I close the bracket. I'm not done yet. This VLOOKUP function is simply returning the commission rate. I just want to test it in the middle of creating my complete function. So I'm going to select all this part and I'll be testing it. And a way to test it in the middle of creation of a function is to hit the F9 key, the Calculate Now key. So when I hit F9, look all this VLOOKUP function should be returning 0 0.02, which means 2%. Don't forget, we need to undo the calculate now, because we don't want to hard code the number. And then I click at the end and say, well, this commission rate must be multiplied by the sales amount. And now I'm ready to populate my function by hitting Control Enter, and I'm getting the same exact result on either side. The difference may be because of the number of decimal places. I can select this column and increase the number of decimal places to get the same exact number. Which one you like most? That's your personal preference. We created the calculation by using a nested if function, and we calculated it by using a VLOOKUP function with an approximate match. If you enjoyed this training video, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in our next training video.